Guys, today we are going sailing. Would you believe it? Riding there is nice. boogie boogie there. And there is a pickup driver. <laughs> and we are going to that sailboat over there, if you can even see it. Exciting! Woo! Welcome back to another episode of Look Fast Limits. This week we are going sailing. So we're not just going sailing, but we're actually getting a chance to experience the real cruising lifestyle this time. You saw us a couple of episodes ago going sailing out of the Gibsons on the Sunshine Coast and also from Seashell. So we've been out for a few day sails, but we've never yet had the experience of trying the real cruising lifestyle until now. So we're out for an overnight trip. Home for two days. So beautiful. So excited to be here. Okay, we're on a ferry route. And here is a ferry. But I guess at least he's just passed, so we know he's not going to appear from around the corner as he just did. horsepower when you got arm power. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just rolling the cover. Living ready. We have condensation overnight. I was gonna be way chillier though. No. I mean, look at the sunrise. Orange ball. So beautiful. Morning ferry over there. I was getting us some rolls overnight. And we were the last to arrive. The first to leave, it seems. <laughs> Yeah. 
This guy is just overtaking us. He's just a bit over the road as well. to put on tea cakes. <laughs> so good. What, yeah. what tea cake? <laughs> <laughs> Already gone. So as we sit in the cockpit here enjoying our tea cakes and coffee, we thought that now would be a good time to show you guys the anchorage and explain a bit as to how we got here. So if you watched last week's video, you'll know that we got ourselves a boat. Now one day, whilst walking the docks on the marina, we bumped into these guys. We first assumed that they were maybe coming to the marina to be winter liveaboards. We got chatting and found out that they had actually spent the summer cruising. They were only stopping by for a couple of nights, but we shared a good night together on Boogie Woogie, and they were kind enough to invite us on board their boat for an overnight sail. So a week or two later, they stopped by again, picked us up on a Friday night after work, and that brings us to here. Oh, hello. Hello. So, how do you feel about boat life, honey? Pretty awesome. I love it. This is amazing, eh? Yeah. This anchorage is just so calm and... Awesome. Oh, yeah. The surroundings. Just incredible here. So many islands. Beautiful anchorages. Quite a lot of people out sailing too over there's the weekend. There's a lot of boats out. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of boats. But it's great. So give us an introduction, guys. Right on. I'm Keegan. And Sylvain. And this is our 1977 Pearson 365. Uh, we bought it last year in Euclulet. We've owned it for a year now. And we were lucky enough this summer, uh, starting June 2022, we were full liveaboards and this has been our home. And we sailed it from Victoria up to Port McNeil. And now we are just finishing up our lap and uh, back to reality for the winter for us. <laughs> yeah, probably lots of boat projects over the winter where we want to get it ready to go sailing and hopefully do something bigger, uh, like cross an ocean, maybe a South Pacific trip, but still working that one out. <laughs> Big plans. Uh -huh. Big plans. That's yeah. like an awesome summer you had, though. Yeah. Incredible summer. Yeah. yeah. So we actually joined these guys yesterday afternoon and I'll get Keegan to fill you in on where we've been and we've already been out for a sail this morning and we're now just sitting in this beautiful anchorage. Great. So where have we been man? You can see on Navionics here, so we're just at the top of the, the Saanich Peninsula. We came down to the Port Sydney Marina to pick these guys up and last night we didn't have any wind so we just motored and we scooted north in between Coal Island here right up to Portland Island, it's a beautiful island, that's a marine park. We dropped our hook right in here, it's called uh, Princess Bay, just behind the tortoise islets. And this morning we were up crack of dawn actually, at sunrise, and we exited this nice bay. The wind was perfectly from the northwest, we pulled both our sails up, and we pretty much spent the day sailing sort of up in here. We went down towards the South Pender area, and then we cut back across the strait. We didn't get hit by any ferries, and we've just dropped the hook here in where this anchor is. Uh, this is off of Russell Island, which is a small island off of uh, Salt Spring Island, which is a much bigger Gulf Island up here. And this is where we are sitting, enjoying the sunshine, having delicious food. With great company. Doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> So we just thought that we'll go and explore this little island here. So we just need to get down there to the jetty. So what are we doing here, Celine? Uh, just getting the dinghy ready. We're just going to swing it around, get our oars and our safety bag. We won't 
bother using the engine today it's just too much of a hassle for such a yeah short distance yeah we're just gonna row yeah to there it's yeah. only a little bit <laughs> no, 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 maybe not. That was much more smooth, y'all. We had to get <laughs> start rolling, or else we're not going to be pointed in the right direction. <laughs> on the beach and it's the indigenous people that used to live in this area uh -huh. that they would eat lots of shellfish obviously because it was very abundant uh, food source and would collect it all eat it and deposit the shells in a pile um, on the beach they're called shell middens right. and eventually the ocean action would crush it up if you look closely it this. it's wow. just all tiny crushed shells yeah. yeah so it's like thousands of years of people eating here and <laughs> Dropping That's off awesome. their shells that creates this. It is usually an indication of where an yeah. indigenous or first nation village right, was. Okay. Village or, gathering spot. Or gathering yeah. spot, yeah. So this would be where they harvested it. So it's pretty insane to think about. We are standing where humans have stood and harvested food for over a millennia. You know, they yeah. estimate 1,200 years. Thanks, people. Thanks, people. <laughs> Had a nice walk around Russell Island, found a few nice beaches, watched a bald eagle fly over us, pretty cool place and we've just come back to the boat now and unfortunately this morning's wind has died off, it looks like there might be a bit of wind out in that direction uh, but yeah it's pretty calm now so we're actually just going to start motoring or we have started motoring back down towards Sydney again. It's a beautiful evening right behind us. So, engine noise again for now, but can't complain when you're out on the water. And it's also getting a bit cold now as well, so we've wrapped up before we get too cold. This time of year it's nice and warm midday, but cold in the morning and cold in the evening. How are you doing at the helm here, Captain? Pretty good. Motoring, but... Keeping us on course? Oh, yeah.
when are we buying a sailboat, honey? <laughs> this is the life, eh? This is the life. Soon, I guess. So, is it home time? It's goodbyes. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. You <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you for having us. Thanks for everything. Thank you for coming. Thank you for feeding us. Beautiful sunset. An end to a beautiful day. You don't mind grabbing the yellow line and just bringing it on board too. And then... All right, my love. We'll see you in a second. Bye. Bye for next time. <laughs>